The views and opinions expressed on Wrestling Wind Down are those of the host and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of any other agency, organization, employer, or company. What's up, guys? It's Lo, and you are tuned in to Wrestling Wind Down, a female-founded and hosted podcast dedicated to professional wrestling and our favorite adult beverage. If you're on Twitter, you might have seen the recent discussion surrounding the BW500, also known as the Black Wrestlers 500, a list of 500 of the best black wrestlers from across the world. On this episode, I'm honored to be joined by the curator of this highly talked about list, Righteous Reg. We'll be chatting about how long it takes to create such a comprehensive list and where the inspiration began to create the BW500. We also set the record straight on the ratings displayed in the list, as well as dive into Reg's gig as a writer at Pro Wrestling Illustrated, the world's top wrestling magazine. So grab your glass of wine. We're going in for the three count. He is the curator behind the BW500. You've seen it all over Twitter. And he is a writer for PWI Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Righteous Reg, welcome to Wrestling Wind Down. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me on the Wrestling Wind Down. This is dope. Thank you for joining me. Let's go back to the beginning. When did you become a wrestling fan? Um, I've been a wrestling fan for a super duper long time. It feels like it's about 30 years now been a fan since I was a very little small child. I was a big fan of the WWF back in the day, big Bret Hart fan. He got me super into uh, the stories of wrestling and uh, appreciating more than just big giant wrestler guys. It's been a really long time since the early 90s. Who were some of your favorite wrestlers to watch? You mentioned Bret Hart, but you've watched for so long. I'm sure you've had a lot of superstars that you've been captivated by and that you love to watch within WWF as well as WWE. Uh, Yeah, there's uh, so many. I mean, uh, of course, I mentioned Bret Hart, uh, Shawn Michaels, his rivals, one of the best of all time. Love watching his matches. More current, Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson, who who he is now. Um, I've watched so many of his matches over the years in independent wrestling and WWE becoming WWE. We champion New Day, super captivating, the best, one of the best tag teams of all time. Two Cold Scorpio, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, was a wrestler prominent in WCW, still going today, wrestling some of the best wrestlers of all time. And of course, like a kind of like the pillar I'd say of like black wrestling, the whole reason that I started becoming, you know, getting into writing about wrestling and talking about black wrestlers, Rich Swan, ACH. Shane Strickland, who is now Isaiah Swerve Scott, Cedric Alexander, and Willie Mack. I just always want to mention those names because I feel like if it wasn't for them, I just wouldn't be doing this. I'm so glad to hear you mention Black wrestlers. Those superstars that you named, they've done and they continue to do so many things in the wrestling business. Yeah, it's it's important that, and I think we, there's some Black wrestlers that get kind of caught in of, uh, when they came up, the things that we're trying to fight for now, we weren't fighting for as much. Mm -hmm. And I think those wrestlers that I mentioned, the Cedric Alexanders and the Rich Swans and the Willie Max and the ACHs, they get kind of caught in between there because they were setting the table for what is now. And I always want to make sure that they are mentioned. And uh, especially a wrestler like going a little older, I said Too Cold Scorpio. Mm-hmm. who kind of inspired the the whole list that I created is inspired by Two Cold Scorpio, pretty much. Every wrestler on that list was inspired by this man in some way or does one of his moves or some kind of thing. And to see that he's still going today as strong as ever and wrestling a lot of people on the list is incredible. So he Absolutely. always needs to get his flowers. You recently celebrated a year of writing for Pro Wrestling Illustrated, the world's number one wrestling magazine. How has this experience treated you? And is it surreal being a fan for so long that you're writing for the top wrestling magazine? Yeah, it's super surreal. It's uh, every time I'm offered like an interview or a new article to write, I just can't believe it. Or when I, the most surreal thing is definitely buying the magazine inside of the store so I'm buying a magazine that has my name in it and that goes back to I used to buy this magazine when I was eight years old and you know and into wrestling and now that my name is attached to it it's it's an insane experience I'm so blessed to be able to write about wrestling and not only do I get to be able to write about it I get to write about it about this mag in this magazine that's been 
prominent in the wrestling industry for so long. It's just super cool. I can't believe it. How did you find this opportunity to write for Pro Wrestling Illustrated? Uh, it goes right along hand in hand with the BW500, which I'm sure we will talk about. Um, I want to tell the story because that that kind of gets uh, a lot of people are kind of confused of what happened, how the BW500 started, how mm-hmm. I got with PWI, and if these things kind of relate. What happened was, is in 2019, the PWI Magazine 500 came out. And so I looked into the, uh, this is the first time I had looked at it in probably like four or five years, like seriously, like I bought a, a digital copy and I went through the whole thing. And what I do, I focus on black wrestlers. So I went through and I counted how many black wrestlers were on this 500 list. Mm-hmm. And there were only about 36. It was less than 40. It was like oh 6%. God. Yeah, 6% that I, I had found out. So um, I go to Twitter and I'm like, hey, you guys, is this weird? Like, that doesn't seem like a lot. Like, this many out of 500? Like, there's way more black wrestlers that that could fill this list up. So it just kind of built, built, built. We're talking about it on Twitter somebody's like, Hey, you should make your own list. And I'm like, that sounds insane. I don't, uh, how, what? And so, um, eventually I did make the list. I got the list up to 250 wrestlers, 200 black pro wrestlers, because I figured we could fill up at least half of this list. That's what the whole thing was inspired by. There's only 30 wrestlers in this list and I could right here, here's 250 that could fill up at least half of it. So that's kind of a travesty that this happened. I released the 250 black wrestlers. A bunch of people like it. It's going, it's it's getting, it's going, it's going. Uh, mm-hmm. Somebody gets me in contact with the editor-in-chief at PWI. And they're like, yeah, we, we made a mistake. Uh, you're right. There should be more black wrestlers. We see your list. But next year, we'll try to, you know, right the wrong or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I didn't hear anything back. They got a new editor-in-chief, Kevin. Kevin hits me up and he's like, yo, you're right. Everything you're saying, this is crazy mm-hmm. that we didn't have this. We need to make this thing right. They wanted me to, I came on and wrote about the 2020 list and was like, hey, it's better. There's more representation. I went through and counted and saw there's a few more names, some representation. Everything was great. I did that recap of the 500 in 2020 and they liked it. And then I just kind of continued writing on. Has that been one of your favorite articles that you've produced or do you have other ones that you hold close to your heart as some of your favorites? There's been a couple, uh, one super important one to me has been Jonathan Gresham because when I started with PWI, legit, the first thing I said is, hey, Kevin, this is great. I love writing for PWI. Get me an interview with Jonathan Gresham. That was legit, like the first thing I said. I said, if if anything's in the air, I want to interview Jonathan Gresham. So I ended up interviewing Jonathan Gresham for the magazine, big spread, his face, all the things, great. He tweeted that he used to buy the magazine when he was a little kid and he could show his mom and stuff. It, It was just great. Great in a perfect moment. Um, I also interviewed AJ Gray, my favorite wrestler in the whole world. He was like one of my first or second articles of PWI. Just to be able to feature an independent wrestler that's not on TV that a lot of people probably don't know about. And he's here with his bloody deathmatch picture and, and getting the shine. So yeah, getting able to write about people that I admire and I know, and I get to impart like this black wrestler thing on into this magazine, like that holds a lot for me. You mentioned how you start the WI 500. How long does it take you to curate this list? Okay, so, uh, I mean, like I said, I've been watching wrestling for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, I watch wrestling, more wrestling than anybody on the planet should. Um, (laughs) Wrestling is on all day. Wrestling is on right now as we're having this conversation. Wrestling is just, when I'm making music, wrestling's in the background. Wrestling is always on. I've I've been to nine live WrestleManias. I've been to more live wrestling shows than I could count. I've been inside of a wrestling ring. Wrestling has been my entire life for a really long time. So coming up with the initial list, that's kind of how I built upon it. It was like, well, can I build this list? How many wrestlers, how many black wrestlers do I know? I knew like a hundred just like off my brain. Mm -hmm. And so research for research for the original 250 took three days. That was just like me, like a hundred wrestlers that I knew offhand. And then just going through every other independent wrestler I know, like just going through all the the means online to try to find these people. And so after the initial list, every day is a search for a black wrestler. I'm searching for a black wrestler on Twitter every, I'm not, maybe not searching, searching, but if I see it, like 
it's out there. I'm uh -huh. like online, great. If I see something dope, I'm gonna retweet it. So every single day is something for the list. But this year it was from like August 1st until it came out that I just like worked on it. Just like super sat down with names, with all these uh, recommendations I've got over the years from putting out tweets like, hey, I'm about to start doing this list. Who do you guys think I might forget or, you know, something that's not, not on the radar. So compiling all these different things to get together probably took a month this year to like really get the list to where it needs to be. Wow. I'm shook because 500 is a lot. And I know, a lot of, I, I know a lot of people have asked you on Twitter how you ranked everyone. And I saw your tweet where you said, the numbers do not matter. Enjoy the list. So mm -hmm. the wrestlers were not ranked in any specific order, right? Uh, really, honestly, for the three times that I've done this list, after number one and number two, everything's been in the air. Those mm -hmm. are like the super most important things. Like the first year, Kofi had won the, the championship. I was like, he has to be number one. And right. then the second, the second year was like, Sasha's killing it. She has to be number one. And then like after number one and number two, there's like some things that I feel like are important. Some people should be high on the list. But really the most important thing about this list is just a celebration of 500 wrestlers. Like I was saying the other day, it's not about, some people are like, well, why is Kofi Kingston ranked so low? Why is this person ranked so low? Not about Kofi Kingston. It's not about anybody that you can name in reality. This list is about 200, number 250 through, through 500 of people you've never seen, you never heard a button, they, they get no shine. So you can go and research those names and get them people some light. It's not about the ones you know, it's about the ones you don't know. I have seen both praise and criticism on Twitter on the timeline from fans, but most importantly, how has the reception been from Black pro wrestlers? Do they agree with the list? Do they disagree with the list? The reception from Black Pro Wrestlers is, has been amazing, legit. I don't even, I can't even think of one bad. There's a couple of people that I accidentally mm -hmm. left off the list and mm -hmm. even they are chill with it. But everyone that's like on the list has been super appreciative. They've shown me super, so much love. I saw some wrestlers live this weekend. They love it. Everybody's super happy about it. It's been a great reception. Um, that's who I want most importantly to see the list and be able to to be happy about it and be able to you know show it to the rest of the world like I've had some wrestlers that that have shed tears and cried when they've seen their name on the list and mm -hmm. they say they can't believe it because they didn't think that anybody noticed them or they're down right. on their luck or whatever type of thing and just seeing their name on this list like reinvigorated something different in them and that's just like that's the stuff that's what I want to see that's what I want to hear and it's it's been like Amazing this year with the rest of them. This year has been the best as far as reception from them. What about your fellow journalists? What feedback or praise have you received from them? Uh, a lot of people are like, this is insane. What a, an insane, hefty task to take along. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it, it's, it's fun now in reality. Mm -hmm. The first year it was, uh, the first year it, I thought it would be as hard, harder than it was, but it wasn't. The second year was really hard, just like, 500 wrestlers that's insane and then this year there were so many there's I tweeted out there's probably like in reality 800 active black wrestlers around the entire wow. world there's like 300 more that I still you know still didn't even get to add to the list so there's like 800 active ones going at the same time so just to be able to do this research is has been crazy and the the journalists have all been just like the wrestlers just great receptions, very appreciative of me putting in the work and putting out the names of these wrestlers. Um, I've gotten some not so great fe feedback from some people, but they don't really get it. Most people that are like upset about something is about rankings. And mm -hmm. like, I'm yeah. not trying to, I don't, I don't care about rankings, as I said. And that, that really makes them mad too. But I'm sorry, dude, I said from the beginning. This isn't about Kofi Kingston being number 38, bro. It's about number 250, number 399. Like, it's it's about more than that. Right. And, you know, I'll admit, like, as a Black woman, it makes me proud to see a list of 500 Black wrestlers. I mean, you think about it. Have we ever seen anything done like this before? No. So, you know, when someone puts their time and effort into making this list, you want to go and search these people up, see what they're about. And 
like you said, I think a lot of people are getting stuck in, well, why did you rank this person here? Why did you rank that person here? Like, when was the last time outside of what you're doing that we've seen a compilation of Black wrestlers? I mean, I did a bunch of research before I started it and nothing even close to 500, like maybe maximum 100. Like there's a list on like, I guess like ranker or something, but it's like, it doesn't, it's not anything. This right. is like the most comprehensive list of black wrestlers that's ever happened. And I feel insanely proud that I'm attached to that. So anytime you look up for the rest of like, if somebody does it next year, they're going to see my list. If somebody does it in five years, they're going to see what I did. So that's super dope to me. I've seen some people ask, so I wanted to clarify, this list is not related to the PWI 500, right? They came out at the same time, almost the same mm-hmm. time, right? Yeah, no, that that's uh, something I wanted to reiterate. These, they have nothing to do. The BW500 is done by one person, Righteous Rick. I'm the only one that puts this list together. Uh, the only thing that PWI has to do with this is I send it to Kevin, the editor, to edit it, to see how many, because sometimes I add multiple names, sometimes the names are wrong or some, something. The only thing that he did was edit as he always does. But this list is created by me. PWI 500 is a totally different thing. That's a, I was on that committee to name the number one wrestler pro wrestler in the world. I was on the committee for that 500. That has nothing to do with the BW 500. They're two separate things. Speaking of the PWI 500, I did see some people, they were kind of shocked to see Kenny Omega at the top of that list, followed by Roman Reigns. And you said you were <laughs> on the committee for that. How is it? picking number one like how much work goes into that and what emotions surround it I'm, I'm sure you guys are in there like okay you know number one we have to really make sure who mm-hmm. we are putting as number one is who the fans will agree with and I saw right. people agreeing about Kenny but I also saw people that you know thought maybe Roman should get the top of the list that's the first initial fight is like who do you guys think should be number one and it's pretty it was pretty up in there. I thought it would be pretty unanimous of being Kenny Omega because I feel that the right move was to make Kenny Omega number one just because the list PWI tweeted is like as, as wrestling, as pro wrestling as you can get. It's mm-hmm. like it's based on what happens on TV and you see it and who's booked the best. Kenny Omega was booked the best. He won three world championships. He was on all these different major promotions. He did all this stuff. I think... Roman did an incredible job and he he had the right like if Roman was number one it would it, it would say the same thing oh great yeah he deserved it and he earned it but I think Kenny Omega was the one and uh, I think I think we tried to take out the like the emotions or the personal bias because like Kenny Omega is not my favorite wrestler in the world like I wouldn't like if they're like who do you personally think number one I wouldn't say Kenny Omega but like if we're talking like pro wrestling uh who's the biggest in the world. Like you have to say Kenny Omega for what he did. And everybody mm-hmm. kind of just agreed to that. Where can the people find your complete list or buy merch to commemorate the Black Wrestlance 500? You can go to blackwrestlance.com. W-R-E-N-C-E-L-L-E-N-C-E. Black Wrestling. That's the whole movement. That's how B, the BW500 started. You can see the complete list. There's a a picture of it on Twitter, but on there, there's the complete list in a different format for you people that can't read the list. Um, It's there broken down for you, one to 500. There's a Black Wrestling 500 t-shirt. Come to Twitter, there's uh, Black Wrestling 500 is a list that comes out on August 31st every single year. But the fight and the drive to get Black wrestlers out and um, to everywhere in the world and the fight for black wrestlers to be featured prominent across the pro wrestling world is every single day. It's not just one day. Uh, that list is just so you can know about wrestlers, but every single day we're fighting to make sure that black wrestling is represented across every promotion that you see. Absolutely. Do you have any tips or advice for other writers who may want to venture into wrestling magazine writing or writing about wrestling in general? Yes, most definitely. I think the, uh, Biggest thing is just go for it. You just got to write and put it out. If you have to start with your own little blog or on Twitter or wherever you can get your little things off, you just got to write and you just got to keep going for it and keep putting out dope content. 
keep doing, do something different than mo- than other people are doing. Don't try to, if you want to interview wrestlers, don't interview the same wrestlers, interview different wrestlers, ask different questions than they did. Try to do something dope that no one's ever done before. That's what I did. I created this list and it opened eyes for me. And then um, just be out there, man. Everybody's always watching at all times. If you do a dope article, uh, maybe not, PWI, but somebody's watching. Somebody's always watching. And then, and then eventually PWI is going to see, and you're going to be a part of a magazine. It's just, you got to go for it. You got to believe in yourself and you got to do something dope. That is great advice. Thank you so much, Reg, for joining me today on Wrestling Wind Down. Where can the people find you on social media? On social media, it's at Righteous Reg. Uh, you'll be able to find me on Twitter, Instagram, anywhere else. RighteousReg.Bandcamp.com if you want to hear some raps, I'm a rapper also. A couple days after I recorded this episode with Righteous Reg, Complex dropped an article with the current WWE champion, Big E. He mentioned the BW500 and how it's so cool to see a list of 500 black wrestlers compiled together. I had to ask Righteous Reg how this moment felt for him being acknowledged by the WWE champion on such a grand level like Complex. Here's what Reg had to say. I'm proud that a black wrestler who is at the tip top of the game saw the list and acknowledged it. The point of the list is to get all of these names circulating and for him to talk about it in complex of all places is amazing. He's the WWE champion. That's crazy. Congratulations go out to Righteous Reg. This list has gained so much traction and I'm so excited to see next year's list. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wrestling Wind Down. You can find all of our other episodes available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Spotify, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and wherever else you listen to your podcast. We're also on Twitter and Instagram at WWDCAST. Let us know what you thought about the episode. What was your favorite part? Until next time, enjoy your wine, and of course, enjoy your wrestling. Cheers! Cheers.